super stoked and super um, excited just to obviously be in this area, be in, in these surroundings. It's just an awesome reminder of, of just the gift of life that we've been given. And um, in just a second, I want Brett to share with you guys his story. Um, and what we're going to do um, is go through that that rite of, rite of passage and just that chance to where uh, we get to follow the command of Jesus to go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so what this is, is, is not a saving thing, but it's, a, it's an opportunity to display symbolically what Jesus has done for us in dying and going to the grave on our behalf and then raising to new life. And so we're going to signify that by going under the water. And, uh, and so just a symbol of what Brett's already decided in his heart to God. So, just share with them a little bit about why this is important. Yeah. So, um, growing up, uh, I never really went to church, and uh, I've always asked, you know, my mom and dad growing up, why don't we go to church? And I've never really got a clear answer. And so, I've always been interested in learning more about God growing up. Um, I went to Colorado State University for these last two years. In my first year of college, I really struggled. Um, you know, not just not just golf wise, but you know, just in life, um, being around different people, not having my family there, and I, I was I was really just lonely, I guess is the word, and uh, and, and hopeless. Um, you know, and then uh, as as the year ended, um, the fall of my sophomore year, um, I was again just kind of real frustrated. You know, almost almost came down to the point where I I felt like you know golf was just kind of taking over and kind of wanted to put it down, and uh, um, a, a stranger just walked up to me on the putting green, and um, Rob Beerbaum here, and uh, and just, you know, just gave me a friend, and uh, looking back at it now, you know, God kind of sent, sent him into my life, um, you know, and I uh, did a Bible study every week for this last year, and uh, gave my life to Christ on October 15th of 2014, um, and uh and so, and since then, after giving my life to Christ, I, I felt, you know, it gave me hope. I put, I put my faith in, in, in God's hands, and uh, became, and everything, and it just opened my eyes. Everything became more clear, and, uh, and you know, and, and He's given me the path. Um, I never found myself down. I've always uh, been, you know, been looking up and just kind of follow, following His way, and, uh, you know, and praying and learning more about him each day, uh, learning the Bible, and and uh, walking with Christ. And so this is uh, something that Rob and I have talked about um, back in the spring during, during the school, and it's amazing that, uh, you know, that I'm here right now standing all in front of you in Whitefish, Montana, and about to get baptized. Awesome. Because of your testimony and your commitment to Christ, I baptize you and it is my pleasure and honor in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey, uh, before we go, we want to get one group picture out of the guy. Hey. I wonder who could 